False accusations are abuse. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So there's no difference between me doing this mm -hmm. and you defending yourself and me making a false accusation and you defending yourself. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I like to solve problems. So if you have anything that you'd like to solve, whether it's in life coaching or career coaching or relationship coaching, I probably have a solution. I'm really good. Could ask anything okay. about work. No. Yeah. Yeah. How about your boyfriend? <laughs> how, about, how about your boyfriend? Mom, we can figure this out. You have a boyfriend. Yes, I do. I do. And I'm, I'm picking up that maybe your mom doesn't quite approve. No, she doesn't like him too much. She doesn't no. like him. No. So do you want to prove mom wrong? Yeah. yeah. Here's, here's, here's what we're going to do, mom, okay? I have a criteria for who you should choose for a long-term relationship. That person should be a 12 out of 12. Oh, okay. so if mom is wrong, uh -huh. he's 12 out of 12. Okay. If mom is right, he's not a 12 out of 12. Okay. So should we grade his paper? Sure. Okay. I'll grade him. Number one, does he have ego strokes? So an ego stroke is if he has other women around that he keeps around because they flirt with him. Mm -hmm. He calls them friends, but he really likes their attention. They kind of just want to be with him. Does he have anybody like that? No. Okay. That's him not seeking validation from other women, right? We don't want that. Number two is jealousy. Are you allowed to have male friends or is that a problem? Yes, but he gets a little iffy with me like hanging out with them like one-on-one. -on -one. Now, the ones that you hang out with one-on-one, -on -one, are these guys that have a crush on you? No. Do you think they're keeping you as an ego stroke? I don't personally think so. No. Okay. He has a problem with you hanging out one-on-one. -on -one. How does that exhibit itself? Does he have a tantrum? Does he make you suffer? Does he try to punish you? No. He or does just, he just kind of... He'll get upset. He'll distance himself okay. a little bit. You want my recommendation for that? Sure. Let him. Okay. And just do you. And if he recognizes you as a person with integrity, he'll deal with his own shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if he's not going to deal with his own shit, he's going to continue making that a problem for you. And I recommend you break up with him mm -hmm. because he's not dealing with his own insecurity. He's making up stories inside his head, mm -hmm. turning those into emotions and then making you suffer because of what he told himself yeah. that isn't true. Mm -hmm. In other words, making a false accusation. Mm -hmm. False accusations are abuse. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So there's no difference between me doing this mm -hmm. and you defending yourself and me making a false accusation and you defending yourself. Mm -hmm. So if he makes any false accusations, you say, that's a false accusation. And if you're not going to see me for who I am, I'm not going to stay with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Number three is appearances. Is mm -hmm. he flashy on the outside because he wants instant admiration? Or does he want people to admire him because he's a good person who does good things? I think he's more of a flashy person. That's a point lost there too. <laughs> so right now it's one out of three. Mm -hmm. Next one is selfishness. Is he a what's in it for me kind of person? Or is he generous with the people in his inner circle? You don't have to be generous with everybody, but if somebody says, hey, can you help me move? He's like, yeah, I'm there. Yeah, he's generous. Okay, so that's two out of four. Control mm -hmm. is the next one. Is he upset if he doesn't get first access to your time or money? No, not really. Okay. Like, no. Yeah. So that's good. Responsibilities mm -hmm. is the next one. So does he try to get out of his responsibilities? Does he complain about the things he's responsible for? Does he call in sick from work because he doesn't want to go? Yeah, kind of. Like, he, he has a little bit of a lack of responsibility. So now we're missing three. Okay. Next one. You think I'd know this by heart, but I wrote 10 books. <laughs> All right. Next one is affection. Mm -hmm. Is it hard to get his affection or do you have to kind of grovel or buy his affection? It's not hard to get his affection, but I mean, like sometimes like there are points where I'd wish he would like do more. Thing. Be more affectionate. Yeah, yeah. I recommend you do a love language quiz. Have you heard about those? Like touch and gifting. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So physical yeah. touch, words of affirmation, gifts, quality time, acts of service. Yeah. When you're considering somebody, even before you commit to them, you should do a love language quiz and then look at the results. Because if you're high in physical affection and he's low in physical affection, I've been there. It sucks. Yeah. It really sucks. <laughs> I'm finally in a relationship with somebody where I'm not too much. Mm -hmm. So all the affection I give, he absorbs because he's also physical affection. Mm -hmm. And then he gives me more on top of that. Take that quiz, okay. find out where you're at and where he's at. Do the 30 question quiz together because... Mm -hmm. Maybe he's making you pay for it, mm -hmm. but because if his physical affection is high, but you feel you have to go chase after him, yeah. he's punishing you. But if his is low and yours is high, that's where the discrepancy is. Mm -hmm. All right, next one is effort. If he's given the opportunity to get ahead faster, 
to take on extra work. Will he take that on? No. <laughs> no. That's my mom's been, my mom and I have been talking about his lack of motivation and initiative. <laughs> right. Yeah. So mom, four now. That's four, okay? Yeah, that's higher than I would have gone. <laughs> Next one is finances. <laughs> is he financially responsible? No. He's missing five. <laughs> Next one is blame. Mm -hmm. Does he take responsibility for the negativity in his life or is it always someone else's fault? Yeah, he takes, he takes responsibility for his like, he's fine with that one. Okay. Yeah. Next one is paying. Mm -hmm. If you go on a date, does he pay more than 50% of the time? Well, I mean, I'm pretty young, so we don't really go on dates. So. If you go somewhere that requires money, yeah. does he pay more than 50% of the time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one is happiness. Mm -hmm. Does he want you to be happy? Yeah. Okay, so he's missing five. Okay. That means he's a seven out of 12. Mom is right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's not a 12 out of 12, but I'm going to give you this. Oh, okay. Thank you. You can choose. Listen, I've got three that I brought here. I'll let you choose. Okay. These are my other two. This is the one that helps you choose the right partner. Mm -hmm. This is the one that helps you heal your heart after a breakup. Mm -hmm. Mom lit up at that one. Mom wants you to break up and use this one. <laughs> I know. Oh and then this is one that helps you have a healthier relationship by teaching you communication and conflict resolution. Okay. Which one do you think you want? I think I want this one. Okay, you can have that one. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate that was it. Thank fun. you so much. Thank you. Nice you. I, I do a radio show, so maybe I'll contact you to be on it. Canada's dating coach. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right, great. Thank awesome. you. What Thank was you your so name? much. Billy. 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 Nice. Thank you, Billy. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.